Joining me now is our International Affairs Editor, Armin Georgian. Armin, give us a background to this latest turmoil. Well, the key thing is uh, the cabinet reshuffle that happened on Monday. The government uh, was under pressure to open up to more civilian leaders to make things less military heavy uh, and really to make progress in the fight against corruption and in uh, to make progress to, to uh, constitutional reforms to hold elections. So it had been pre under pressure really from uh, Malians to, to do that. And so it tried to open up, it, in, it brought in more civilian uh, politicians into the government in that reshuffle. Uh, including members of the M5 movement that had been leading these protests to, you know, uh, make these reforms in Mali. Uh, but it seems to have miscalculated on the military side of things by removing these two uh, key figures that were very close to the the junta, uh, and therefore there was a reaction against that, and and uh, the president and prime minister were uh, were detained. So that's kind of the immediate context for this week in it. And this coming against the backdrop of ongoing Islamist activity in the region. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, to, to rewind quickly, uh, the, there was that Operation Serval in 2013 and 2014, which pushed back the jihadists uh, from Mali. Uh, that operation turned into Operation Barkhane, which has been active since that time. Uh, but still, the jihadists have been able to make a comeback. They've made parts of central and northern Mali ungovernable, essentially. Uh, the difficulty now is that, first of all, uh, Amid these ructions, one wonders who is actually going to have their eye on the ball for the latest anti-jihadist operations by the Malian army. But also, Annette, uh, remember that the French have a lot of high-tech equipment to do, um, you know, pinpoint operations from the air and so forth. The French, they have to coordinate with someone in Bamako to say, OK, there's, you know, a really... Uh, sensitive operation that we want to carry it out. Do we have your okay to do it? We know that there's this jihadist leader moving from this point to this other point. Can we go and and you know attack him, take him out? Um, one wonders who the French will be able to talk to right now while this uh, uncertainty g continues in the capital. Armand Georgian, thank you.